Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 676. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 673 to 682. In this trick here, we want to see how to do a dynamic range for a table here. Sometimes we get data dumped like this. Sometimes we get it uh, dumped like this. Uh, and so we want to create a dynamic range and then use it to create a defined name and then use it in a chart or something like that. We'll go ahead and start with this uh, small data set right here. Let's just build our formula here in the cell. Now sometimes there's always going to be three rows but the columns are varying. So I'm going to choose to use the index function instead of like offset or something for a dynamic range equals, and I'm going to click on this cell right here and hit the F4 key. We'll create our formula here and then paste it up into the Define Names dialog box. Now, that's the starting cell. I'm going to use a colon. Oops, that always happens. Colon. And the bottom quarter cell may be here or may be here, may, may be over here. So we're going to use the index function to look up a cell reference. So index the array, I'm just going to select the whole um, row 4 here. If you never had more than uh, you know 25 or 100 columns, then say you could go like, uh, there's uh, no more than uh, 28 columns or 25 columns, I think. So you could do something small like that. Whatever you do, don't put any data over here. This is just a place reserved to dump data. So F4. That's the array to look up. Right now we want to look up that cell reference right there, but whatever value gets put in here. And this, this formula is for when you paste some uh, data. If you were to enter data like this, um, then it would only work when you put the last value in at the, uh, the, the bottom of the, the new column. Anyway, there's the lookup comma and the row number. Right now we need, this range has one, two, three, so we need to look up the third cell in this range right here. So we'll use the match. Now I'm going to assume and that the uh, biggest value here is like a, a million dollars or something like that. So our lookup value is going to be just some big number. So I'm going to put 10 caret 10 or whatever you wanted to put there. Make sure that whatever number you put there is always going to be bigger than the biggest number in this row. Now match is program uh, to keep looking and keep looking. If it can't find a number big enough in our case, then it just goes to the last one. So that's really the, one of the conceptual tricks here. The lookup array, it's going to be the same. Actually, I'll use my same range right here. The match type, we can leave this out. The approximate match will work for us. Close. Per, in fact, you don't want to put like exact match there because then it would well, actually, it would work there too because this number is never going to find this number. Nevertheless, we leave that like that. That's the row number. And if you highlight this right now, you can see it'll give us 3, F9, Control Z. Anytime a new value comes in here, even if there's blanks in between, it's always going to go to the last one. Close parentheses, and that will work right there. That we can use as our defined name. I'm going to highlight this, and here we can't really see the cell references explicitly, but if I hit F9, you can see it got the whole table, right? So column, 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 and then semicolon means jump down to the next row. Column, 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 so it got the values. Control Z, copy. I'm going to enter this here just in case I mess up and I have to come back and edit it. Control Shift Enter. Remember, don't put anything over here or else it would change the result of this. Control F3 opens the name manager or define names. I'm going to click New. The name will be um, uh, range values or something like that. I'm going to come down here. Refers to Control V. Make sure I got it. No, it didn't. I need an equal sign there, so equal. Click OK. I'm going to test this right here. I'm going to click the collapse, and sure enough, it got it. I'm going to uncollapse, click Close. Let's um, pretend like we had some new values here. And uh, we can check it here, F9. Sure enough, it got those uh, new values. Control F3. And then down here, you can 
click the collapse if you selected your name. Wow, look at that. So it looks like it's working just fine. Click close. And then now you can use that name in whatever you want. Alt equals is the keyboard shortcut for AutoSum. F3, paste names. All right, so there we have it, a dynamic range for a uh, table of values with the varying column uh, lengths. All right, we'll see you next trick.